Hey everybody, and welcome back. Kevin here. And in this video, we're going to look into field validation for our forms on our flight edit and add pages. And then we're going to make sure that this notes field specifically is required. So what that means is unless the value is put into our input field here, then we're going to display an error. And the way we do this in TypeRocket, if we jump to the code, is we're going to add validation within the create method. So whenever we hit that add button, it gets sends a request to this create method. And then if we're authorized to take an action, we're going to then validate the fields, right? So we would say, in order to do this, we would say tr validator. So we're gonna create a validator. And then we're gonna create some rules within that validator. So we have a notes field, so we're gonna say notes. And then what do we want the notes to be? We want them to be required. Next, all we have to do is pass in our fields. So we'll grab the request and then grab the fields. So here we have all the fields that were submitted on the request and then we just have to validate. And when we validate, we can validate immediately or we can pull back the actual validator object. So I'm gonna say true here and that will pass back the validator object. And now that we have the validator object, I can say if validator, and we can say failed, then we can do something similar here. We can say, take the response and we say, you know, field required. Now, this approach is not very elegant and we're writing a lot of code to make this happen. And we haven't even completed the process here, right? So for example, we'll probably wanna redirect with a flash message like we do here. And we also want to pass back some errors to display on the page, specifically the errors that get sent back to us from our validator. So whenever uh, a request fails, we want to be more precise and explanatory in how that error happens. And we can do that with the validator class. However, there is another class that we can use that simplifies this process. And that are that is type rocket fields. And type rocket fields are similar to our request object, except they only pull in the field. So think of it as working with this request and then only the field section of the request. And in type rocket, we have a galaxy command to handle this. So PHP galaxy flights, because we're working within our custom plugin. And we'll say make fields, and then we'll call it flight fields. Hit enter here. And then in our HTTP section, we'll see flight fields. If we open this file up, we'll see a few things. First, we'll see fillable, and we can ignore that for this tutorial. And the next section we'll see our rules. So what we can do here is pass those same rules that we had in our validator, where we do notes and required. And then from here, we can import this field section into our flight controller and we won't need any of this any longer and i'll show you why in a second and then because request is importing just the fields we don't need anything else we don't even need this request object any longer we can just get our flight fields so i'll import that make sure you have your namespace imported and then i'll call this fields copy this and replace it here. And now what will happen is we'll have access to our fields. And I could say my validation here. So we can say validate. We have a few options here. We can get the validator for this request. Uh, many, many things that we can do here. So we could simply validate at this point and that cleans up our code a little bit. However, there is a little secret that we have within this fields class and we can actually run the validation on import immediately without having to write any code and it will take care of everything elegantly for us. So I'll change this to true. It's this run section. And this essentially will run the validator and redirect us if there are any errors immediately as soon as this is created when it's imported into our controller. So with this in place, we will jump back to the browser, hit add here, and it'll say flight created. Um, I'll hit add again 
hit add, and there we go. Notes is required. So now that we have notes is required in terms of a field, we also need to add some visual cues to the user when they're on this page to make them know that this notes field is required. So we can jump over to our form here and we can mark the label as required and then add a little re asterisk next to the field. Now we can refresh this page and we'll see our asterisk. Okay, so the next bit is when we save the field, we also want inline errors. So we can say use errors on our form on this add form here. And then when I hit add, it will show an inline error is required. The next bit that we want to have take place is let's say we change this to 15C and we hit add. Watch this field. It changed back to 6A. So we're gonna see an error, we'll go correct that error, and then we're gonna have missed our input. So we also need to tell the form to grab the old input and pre-populate these fields that were correct with that information. And we can do that you with uh, use old, save that, change it to C15, hit add, and now it stays as C15. So let's wrap up and change our update section to include the same features. So we'll have to grab this information, go to the edit page, make sure that we apply our errors and use old to that section. And then on update, instead of request, we'll get that flight fields. We'll change this to fields, copy it, paste it in here, and that should handle it for us. So now whenever we're on the edit page, Let's go to all flights, edit here, and we'll see that it did have some of that break tag. I guess that's the one we added earlier that had all that information in it. We'll delete that, hit update, and we see that the field is required on our edit page as well. And now we have field validation inside of our form and your creativity can go wild with this. You can look up any information on the different types of validation within the validator documentation for TypeRocket. And that wraps up this tutorial.